Hi guys. Um, <clears throat> I went to the doctor's this morning. Um, had this lump on the back of my neck that kind of came out of nowhere. And uh, so I, you know, thought that I should get it checked out. And um, my doctor's not sure what it is. She said it could be a swollen lymph. Or it could be like a fat deposit that doesn't break down like normal fat. Um, she said sometimes if you lose a lot of weight, you'll find something that had always been there, but you just didn't know it was there. Um, so what we're going to do is the only way to know for sure what it is, is to start uh, with a, well, normally they would do an ultrasound. But because of the location of the lump, which is on my neck, which there's bone there, she said it would be hard to tell what it is exactly with the bone and stuff. So um, the next best thing to do is to get an MRI. And, um, you know, I don't like exposing myself to the radiation. But if the lump doesn't go away or shrink or something, then um, we have to, I guess, figure out what exactly it is. So it's probably been there for about a week or two. I think I, I noticed it two weeks ago, and then I thought, oh, it's probably part of my body, because I can only feel it when I tilt my head backwards on my neck, but when it's forward or straight I don't or neutral, I don't feel anything. It doesn't hurt. Um, it's just kind of strange. So then... The other day, I did that again, and I felt it, and I thought, this is not normal. Like, it just, I would have noticed it before at some point, you know, if it had always been there. So, um, it's probably about the size of a chestnut, maybe a golf ball, and, um, I don't know. It's a little disturbing, so... So I actually have my annual checkup with her in a week or two, and I'll just have her recheck it at that point, and we'll reassess or reevaluate the situation, and um, and we'll determine if the the MRI um, or CAT scan I forgot which one she said we'll determine if that's necessary. So um, I am out and about today. I went to the doctor's and I just went to the whole, whole foods near my old house because it's so much smaller than the one near my new, well, near the apartment where we're staying and I hate it. That one is just a madhouse. And I used to enjoy shopping until we moved over here and now I just hate, I dread going because it's so awful. There's so many people and you can't move around and you can't move your cart and it's, it's just not a good situation. So anyway, I figured while I was over at my doctor's near my uh, old house that I would just go and pick up a few things at the Whole Foods um, near my old house as well. And um, I wanted to show you guys this because I have a new addiction. I think that um, Carla had put a vlog or a post in our forum about this. A different one but I advise if and these are good for loading too by the way this is um, Hail Mary Miracle Tart it's the coconut vanilla cream one and um, it's raw oils vegan and gluten free and so um, it's amazing absolutely amazing this little tart is $3.99 and worth every sink and bite I usually eat it um, in quarters, you know, because it's rich and it's heavy, but if you're loading, you could eat the whole thing at once, and um, the whole thing has, well, it says it has three servings per container, so, um, but one serving has 10 grams of fat, so the whole thing would be 30 grams of fat. Um, it's high in fiber, it's uh, got some protein, it does have sugars in it, but it's like, um, it's a... Uh, from maple syrup, not from sugar sugar. Um, there's almond flour, organic palm sugar, raw cashews, bourbon vanilla, sea salt, shredded coconut, virgin, extra virgin coconut oil, organic, yeah, not extra virgin coconut oil, organic virgin coconut oil, coconut water, raw almond flour, absolutely 
amazing. So um, you have to try that. And then today, I normally get the coconut macaroons, um, but today I noticed that she has a new one out. The lady that came out with this line um, is actually local to Dallas, I believe, or she's in Texas at least. So um, I can't be digging through my bag while I'm driving. It's bad enough that I was reading. So I'll share it with you at some other time, but just wanted to do a quick check-in. Um, I'm just going to go home and relax the rest of the day, trying to pump some fluids back into my body and um, some nourishment. And that is it. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.